We first got involved in the collection of waste uh, silage film back in 1989 when we read an article in the Farmers Weekly about a national scheme uh, for free collection of waste plastics for recycling. When we made the telephone call to have our waste collected from our farm, because we are also farmers, we were told that there was no agent for collecting the polythene in our area. We then uh, visited the company in Scotland to discuss becoming agents for Glamorgan and Gwent. By 1994, we then covered the whole of the, what was then the Dovered area, which was Pembrokeshire, Cardiganshire and Carmarthenshire. And by 1995, we also covered the Powys area also. Now is that we collect from the whole of the UK. Uh, we are the sole suppliers to British Polythene Industries. And we ha now have agents covering various parts of the United Kingdom. We have over 6,000 farmers on file. Uh, we collect about 5,000 tonnes a year that comes into this site from Wales alone. Uh, all the other agents, they work exactly as we do. Uh, they have to use the same charges, etc., the same method of collection, what have you, which means that all farmers throughout the UK under the Birch Farm Plastic Collection Scheme pay the same, whether in the Highlands of Scotland or down in Land's End. Everybody pays the same price for having their waste collected. The waste can be stored loose or bagged on farm. The lorries that collect the waste are high-sided um, six-wheeler lorries and they have a grab fixed at the back so that the plastic needs to be kept in an area where the lorry can easily get to it and actually um, picked, uh, it picks a grab fill up, it loads it onto the lorry and weighs it. Um, so each gravel gets picked up and weighed so the farmer can then decide on each day how much he'd like to have taken on that particular day. Obviously important if a farmer has got several years worth there to be collected. We normally get between the five to six hundred bale wraps to one ton and that's average condition bale wraps be that clean or dirty. Obviously the cleaner the wrap is kept the less it's actually going to weigh for the farmer um, but at the end of the day obviously it is a farmer collecting from we do expect that to be contaminated. Um, highly contaminated waste is not a problem for us but we obviously do encourage farmers to keep it that bit cleaner so it does actually cost them that bit less. We do make a minimum collection charge and that is for three quarters of a ton so any weight up to three quarters of a ton incurs the same charge. Some farmers can actually reduce their costs by actually getting together. If we've got a group of maybe three or four farmers if they choose to get together at one site then that minimum three quarters of a ton does not then apply. Once the plastic has actually been collected off the farm, the driver then actually provides that farmer with a waste transfer note on the day and then once it gets back to the office we actually send the VAT receipt and the recycling certificate out the following day in the post. It's that waste transfer note is the bit of paper that actually um, the farmer actually needs to keep on fine for two years as also we keep a copy. Obviously if you have got a farmer that makes a very small amount each year and then they are allowed to keep that on farm anyway for up to three years providing that waste is going for recycling. So the options to the smaller farmer is that they can either keep that on site for two to three years or they can actually get together with some neighbours to reduce their costs. As Madeline explained, all the waste from Wales comes into the yard here. Um, and we do ask farmers to try and sort it as best they can in the sense that all the wrapping um, and sheeting need to be um, stored together. Um, it can either be bagged or loose, whichever the farmer prefers. What we do insist on being bagged is the netting and string. Um, you'll see from the boys sorting that the netting and string actually can't be recycled and therefore although we offer the service to remove it from the farm, you know, we can't have it mixed in with all the other waste because it does actually go to landfill. So we can offer the service to take it off the farm, providing it is bagged, tied on the top so it can't sort of uh, mix in with all the other waste in the lorry. So when it comes back into the yard, those bags can be segregated immediately. The waste that comes in, it'll be the silage wrapping, silage sheeting, feed bags, fertiliser bags crop cover, ponytail cover, all that sort of type of waste. It'll actually come into the yard, they'll sort it, the wrapping and sheeting will actually be baled, 
separately, but again, we can collect that from farm together, where it's easy enough to segregate here. We'll actually bale that, and they come out in sort of ten and a quarter bales, and they're stored on site here. The lorry's ready to come in, and the material gets moved out. See, once all the waste has gone into BPI, then that's British Polythene Industries at Dumfries. It's recycled into the lumber sections, which we then have returned back down. These sections then we manufacture into the garden and street furniture. We also do bollards, fence posts, styles, that sort of thing, to councils and schools, local authorities ever throughout the UK. Obviously, the advantage to this product is that it is extremely vandal resistant, um, totally weatherproof, you know, you just basically put them into place and, and leave them really. You don't need to paint them, treat them, um, because they cannot rot.